So uh, we're now at Willow Fields in Yay! Haxi. And um, yeah, we're going to be here for um, Johnny's birthday weekend this weekend. <gasps> Shepherd's Place Farm is open again. He just rang them and said, are you open for a Terminator breakfast? That'll be the cameras. Yeah, We've that's just the put camera. the cameras on so that we can keep an eye on Coop because he's not coming with us because uh, we're actually we're going, going on the, the bikes. bikes. Yay. Bye. I was exhausted. I could barely keep up with you. I was on the other medium as well. I was on full, full beans. Don't you think though, considering it's been ages since you've been on those bikes, you might have still had full battery. Yeah. I think oh, still, really good. still has got full battery, you cannot fault anything. Now, a lot of people have asked us about them and said how good are they. And, you know, they're just brilliant for the price you pay for them, they're brilliant. They are absolutely amazing. They take some stick. You can just leave them be, clean them now and again, Make everything sure. works. Although saying that, we didn't even have to pump up tyres this time, no. and that was been a good four months between last time we both used them. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, well impressed. So um, yeah, wish us luck with the breakfast. Oh, let's all look at some menus. You don't need the menu, just T1. I can't see them, I can't. Aww. So baby. Ooh, right. <gasps> oh, oh. Ah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Kit, thank you. Oh, look. Oh, yes. Steamy windows. <laughs> Are we hungry enough? Um, yes. Yes. Absolutely. All right. Let's get going on these bad boys, eh? Let the fun begin. Mandy's not quite finished. I don't know if you saw for the time lapse, but she really hasn't quite finished, so it's a bit of a shame, really. All right, so everybody who knows me <laughs> knows what happened here. That was a ride and a half. That's what she said. Let's see. Oh, he's in there. Hey, Koopy. Hey, buddy. Hiya, bud. How you doing? So it's that time again. I'm going to give Koopy his uh, bath and haircut because the poor little blighter is roasting. Come on, you're supposed to be outside. Come on, bud. Coming this way. Let's get him all bathed and then he'll be all fluffy and um, hopefully later on today he'll be dry enough because this is nice and warm to actually get his, uh, his hair cut done. How handsome does he look? Oh, you had your hair cut, buddy. Have you had your hair cut? Does that feel better? Yeah. Just a little dusty. A little dusty because he's been lying in it. But yeah. Oh, feels good. Looks good. And there's only the odd little bit where he looks like a little old man. Where I've missed bits or shaved a bit too close. What do you think, buddy? Come and see. Is that good? Is that good? Oh, getting cuddles. All oh, the cuddles. All oh, the cuddles. <laughs> so, I'm cooking again. 
I've not cooked properly for a while, I've been living off cheese sandwiches and things, so now we're going to do just a very quick one pan meal. I have done this before, so if you've seen it before, I'm sorry. Um, it is one of our favourite go-tos when it's a really dank and dismal day. Um, if you haven't seen it before and you'd like to ask details, pop us something in the uh, comments and I'll link you to the video where I've done it in full with all the splendorous detail. So in general we have three cheese tortellini this is great because this is this lasts for like this is like last a nuclear apocalypse this stuff with um meat free meatballs mushrooms peppers sweet corn passata and uh bouillon for a really nice just a tomatoey sauce and then on top of that i'm going to butter two slices of this put some cheese on and some herbs and make it into garlicky croutons so essentially meatball pasta in a tomato sauce with garlic and cheese croutons on top and I can't talk properly because I'm so hungry I'm salivating as I'm talking. So the peppers and mushrooms are cooked, uh, cooking down nicely and now they're getting going a little bit I'm going to put the meatballs in the pan and give them a fry off just to make sure that they are all cooked in time because everything else is quite fresh and doesn't take too long. Meatballs are softening up nicely so now I'm just going to chuck in the tortellini and I know it seems a bit weird putting it in dry with the pan but the pasta will soak up some of the flavours that are in the pan before, before I put the water in. So that's the pasta added to the pot along with about half a cup of water and about a teaspoon and a half, maybe two teaspoons of, of bouillon because you still want to be able to uh, taste all the other flavours that are in there. The can of, uh, or carton sorry, of passata, pop that all in, give it a good stir and pop the lid on it for about 15 minutes and that should cook through nicely. Then added to that I did some smoked paprika, some onion powder some oregano and some basil again i love all those flavors so i just chuck them in um you know what you like best bit of salt and pepper while that's cooking away in there i'm going to get the garlic bread ready or the croutons literally butter two slices of bread sprinkle over a little bit of garlic and then some good old parsley and then and then just cut, cut them up into little chunks like that and then they'll go in the um, in the pan on top of that when it's all cooked. Nice and simple. I forgot to put the sweet corn in. So um, uh, there's the sweet corn going in. Hey! I'd have been like, this tastes funny. That's looking nice. I do like this induction hob that you can go down to 200 watts on it and it just gives it just a little bit of a blast every now and again but it's great for simmering stuff through. So I'm happy with all how all that looks. So it's time the garlic bread which has got no thyme on it <laughs> it's got parsley on it <laughs> although you can go parsley sage rosemary oh, and thyme so croutons are in you can smell the bread getting warm already just have to do some good old extra mature extra mature cheddar cheese lid back on and let it all melt and cook through mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Finished! I started, man. <laughs> Sorry, a little chuckle from John in the back. So this, I'm not putting it under the grill this time. But well, look at that! Oh, I can barely lift it with my hand. I'm gonna have to move the camera to it. Look. Num 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 num. So I will put that out onto our plates now, and then we will proceed to ram it into our faces. Stop it! it smells lovely, doesn't it? Num 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 num. Do you think? It's nice. I think of those green cuisine meatballs. They're really nice. That's a really, really tasty, aren't they? Mmm. Mm. I mean, they're massive plates. Look at that. Look at this, though. Free content. Soon Paul Brown gets stuck, so I can video them getting stuck in the field. <laughs> what what the, the, the brand of the tyres that you've got? Um, they're the wrong brand. <laughs> <laughs> it does look real boggy down there, though, still. A lot of rain here lately.
I am, yeah. Having fun? I am, yeah. Did you enjoy looking at all the tractors? I did. Got to see all the tractors. I got to find out lots about them. Yeah. Apparently all the blue ones are generally Fordson. Fordson? Uh, Fordson tractors, yeah, that then turned into Ford. Apparently it was the same thing. Not McPherson? No, Fordson. Oh, okay then. Yeah. And, um, and apparently you can, you can get like a vintage tractor and you can insure it for like £40 a year. Hey. Which is why it's a, a popular hobby because they can be useful, but also oh, right. you can come and show off, and it doesn't cost a fortune. You can come and live in one though, could you? Not really. Be a bit slow travelling. Although you, don't, you could get like the army trailer, I'm sure, and tow that round. Oh yeah, that'd be alright, wouldn't it? Are <laughs> <laughs> well, you having a nice time doing your beer, beer lady day? A bit, well, no beer. It's all soft drinks and coffee and tea. I know it's like this the thing bar person. Bar person. Yeah, yes, I've got my go. obligatory all in black bar person outfit. So, with, 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 attitude. <laughs> with attitude. So, what do you want? Yeah, and. But <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, I've had fun. I'm going to go and help them out again in a bit as so. well. Cool. Right, good weekend. Oh, it really was. I think I might still be hungover. Oh, uh, I feel all right actually. Yeah. Yeah. Although several, several, several late nights. <laughs> oh dear. But no. everyone's gone now. Yes. They've all left us, <laughs> um, either to go somewhere else or to meet up in a few days, hopefully, back at the show. Yeah. So we've packed up. Johnny's now cutting the grass. You can just about see over there. So he's had a good weekend bash. Mandy helped out in the pub. In the bar. Yeah, but so no, no uh, drinks, but I helped with food. Soft drinks and food, wasn't it? Ah, yeah, yeah, I was on the griddle, cooking away. Didn't kill anyone. Yep. <laughs> so we've packed up the van now, it's all packed up, got everything we need for the show, and then a few days after that, we're going and seeing family and stuff, so. Yep, so it's a good few days, well, a good couple of weeks again coming yeah. up, isn't it? So it's been lovely this last few weeks, it's been busy, we're gonna yeah. need a nap. But, uh, yeah, the yeah. week after the show we'll need. A nice break, I think. Yeah, can we go on holiday? Can we go on holiday? <laughs> I, like, we... I like camp on holidays. <laughs> yeah, depends if we can get out of the country or not. Yeah, no, we'll stay here for a bit, but oh. yeah. Right then, Stratford. Off we go. Cool, see you there. So that's us. It is. At the show now. Uh, I think we're all pretty much set up, aren't we? Waiting for the uh, beer tent and food tents to arrive. Yeah. <laughs> and in the meantime, we are the beer tent and yeah. food tent. Well, for us anyway. Yeah, we've got a couple of fridges in the van. Yeah. So we've got a fridge in the boot as well as a normal fridge. And uh, got a table set up. Mandy's doing being good cooking, outdoor cooking, or fresco what? cooking. That blooming um, induction hob is amazing yeah it's like stand outside with it and use the sunshine to cook while the sunshine is cooking the top because it's that hot yeah it's cool though isn't it and hot 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 and cool um, but now i need to go find something somewhere cool because it's from warm again it is isn't it don't complain no okay not complaining we might be due a thunderstorm later so we'll see how we get on with it mm. so we just had a walk into stratford because um we were hungry <laughs> and uber eats wouldn't deliver uh, then it started to rain, uh, all the restaurants are fully booked, so we're eating fish and chips mm. under a tree, under as a you tree. do. Yeah. Can't beat that. No. Thanks to Steve as well for the food, mate. No problem. Cheers, You're welcome, mate. buddy. So, yeah, fish and chips. I've got a sausage, just, you know. I know. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Got a sausage. <laughs> there we go, I was waiting for that one. <laughs> so, hopefully, it won't rain much under the tree. But nice scrub. Right, what we need to do now is go and walk around 
Um, not what my Instagram post because it just replaced the L with an N, you know, typo and all that. Um, yeah, so we're going to walk around and see everyone coming in now. Um, it's quite early on Friday afternoon, so uh, yeah, loads of people all queuing up, all trying to see what's going on. <laughs> He's busy. I'm on the phone at the same time. He's on, see, this is how busy Tom is. Tom organised right, the event. Okay. When you say I'm Tom. I'm being filmed. I've got. <laughs> He's so busy. And, uh, we'll leave him be for a bit. But yeah, Tom is so busy organising the event. We've got queues of people coming in. Loads of people coming saying hi. Um, but yeah, we need to go walk round, have a shifty round over things. Just brilliant atmosphere so far. Loads of people here. Obviously got um, all the camper vans to come and look around. Um, Fanny's made it as well. It's quite an achievement really. Um, but they've got Weirdos, Luke's Van Life, uh, Kev Womble, Greg Virgo. Um, and over our way, we've got so far uh, one man in his whippet, Dave, us, Daz is here as well, aka Baz right now. Um, and then we've also got John and Tash, Life Beyond Bricks, and the Roman Radfords. Just trying to ruin my shot. Trying to vlog. Thanks. Uh, you can't make this stuff up, can you? So yeah, we need to go and have a walk around, get a burger, um, have a beer, and then just go and uh, have a look around these trucks. Because you come for camper vans, but you really want to see all the big monster trucks. So speaking of monster trucks, yes, monster trucks. We're going to crush someone's van <laughs> with a monster truck. And the best thing about this little thing is it's just any type of vehicle. No vehicle is excluded. Motorhomes, got massive RVs. Obviously overland vehicles, camper vans, little trucks, and tuk-tuks. Yes, there's a little tuk-tuk race set up here. So there's gonna be all sorts of things here in this little arena here. So yeah, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. Uh, weather so far, we've got a bit of blue sky, a bit of gray sky, uh, but at least it's cool, which is better than it was the other day when we're all absolutely baking. We're at the BBC Outside Broadcasting Unit at the Adventure Overland Show. I've brought my camera and my motor home with me. Right, new merch out, badass t-shirt for the badass wheels and tyres. Uh, it's going to be out on the website now, so you can uh, click on our website, you'll see all the shops set up and everything. Uh, there's only going to be 500 of these, so no other reprints or anything like that. So grab one now. Uh, so we just had a walk around now. Oh, it's amazing. It's Loads so of cool. cool stuff. There is literally something for everybody, whatever you might like. Yeah. It, is, it is amazing. Some cool vans there, had a bit of food. Yep. Um, probably thought that given the fact that you know Saturday and Sunday it's going to be busier we thought we'd do it this afternoon weather pucked up as well yeah. so weather's really nice now fields are getting really full as well so I'll probably fly the drone over there and just show you how full it is compared to before yep there's loads of inflatables ready to go up and some fairground rides and the bars yeah. up and yeah everything <laughs> excuse me so uh, yeah it's just 
got a bit warm and then we got to see an awful lot of people didn't we and yes, chat with them which was wonderful i'm really yeah. sorry if you came to chat with us and we had to rush off but um i about five minutes ago i had my <laughs> t-shirt and a hoodie on and jeans well well yeah je jeans and socks and trainers yeah now i have a dress and flip so and i need to go and get my shorts on i think you really really skin. do yeah so um, this is us signing off. We're going to have the weekend of just us, friends, and um, saying hello to people. Yes, we will. We might we might put the odd bit of uh, extra things in, maybe, in the next um, one. Yeah, I think if uh, we start off next week's episode with anything good that happened this weekend. Yep. And as usual, um, you know, if you follow us on Instagram, you'll be able to catch up with what's going on yep. in more real time. Yes, all up to date on there. <laughs> right, and guys, you take care. Yeah, I hope you have a lovely weekend, and I hope the weather's good wherever you are. Yep. And we'll see you next time. We will. Bye. Bye.